I went to Nessa Bear's last stop on her church club for the lonely tour. And this is what happened. So we just got the email. Um Good morning, you guys. I just did my skincare. Honestly, I'm so freaking scared for tonight. I haven't been to a concert in so long, and I went through something in like 2019, 2020 that really changed my mindset of like going anywhere or doing anything. I had a little bit of a panic attack last night, if I'm being honest. I have kind of an idea of like what I want to do with my outfit. I don't know why it's so dark in here. I literally have every single light on in my room. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we moved locations. Hopefully this works. If anybody has any idea why my background keeps going black on a G7X camera, please let me know because I'm very new to this camera. I don't know what I'm doing. Back to the concert. Uh, it's also in Portland. If you know Portland, it's like the number one crime rated city in America right now. So I will not be driving there. I want to incorporate Nessa's style into what I'm going to wear because she is a freaking queen. Her style is so cool. Some black, some bows. For makeup, I think I'm just going to go natural, maybe a little darker. It's Currently Thursday, November 16th at 9.56 a.m. So I'm gonna put a clock right here. You guys can try to follow. I have to be ready before 12.45. I'm gonna be going in soundcheck. I've been seeing some of these people that have been going to Nessa's concert on TikTok and they have been camping out there. So I want to get there early, just not too early because it's also freezing cold. I can't stand outside. Props to anyone that does that. I just personally cannot do that. I'm going by myself. So that's already like anxious enough. It's spray tan, so we're definitely orange right now, but we're just gonna have to make do. I might have talked about this before, I don't know. I actually have met Nessa before and I met her, well, she came, it was supposed to be like my 21st birthday bash and she was there with a whole bunch of other like TikTok influencer people. I did not say hi though. I was too chicken. Uh, we did make eye contact and we did smile at each other, but I've never physically talked to her before. I was celebrating my 21st birthday, so it would have been July 18th, 2020. I went online, okay? I went online. I went on like the Nessa Nation League. Instagram, Twitter, everything. Why can I not find anybody like posting or talking about the Portland Nessa Bear concert? What if nobody's there? Like what if it gets canceled? I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. I'm sure now that I talked about my anxiety too, some of you guys are like, well, if you have concert anxiety, then why are you going? Okay, have you ever heard Nessa Bear's music? Because that is some of the most relatable lyrics and music I've ever heard in my life. Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, those are my girls for life. But Nessa Bear really gets down to like the itty gritty, like tiny little emotions that I feel like nobody ever really talks about. And I feel like that's what makes her music so beautiful. Makeup is all done. It's time to start on hair. Really, really, really want to incorporate a bow. I love these. I found these on Pinterest, and I think this is something I definitely should go for. I don't know how to do a natural blowout, so I literally curl my hair first and then I straighten the pieces I want to be straight. Really weird, but it works. I also did my nails. I think these little like black tip, like sparkly looking nails are definitely Nessa themed. Okay, let's get started with the hair. I just went on Instagram while my curling iron was heating up. It's apparently the last US show of Nessa's tour tonight. It's definitely gonna be packed. Also time check, it is now 11.01, which means I have an hour and 44 minutes until the car picks me up. I think we're doing good on time, but let's try to hurry. Hair is all done. We added the bow. She is a cutie. Now it's time to get this outfit situated. I have kind of an idea of what I wanna do, but I'm not 100% sure, so. Let's figure it out. These are the outfit kind of ideas that I'm going for this on Pinterest. I got a white corset literally just for this concert. So I already know that I'm going to wear the white corset. Um, let me just show you what I think I have. This was literally insane to get on. I think this just took me 25 minutes to get on. I'm also getting spray tan all over it. So I think I just need to stop. I'm actually really liking this outfit. I think it's cute. My other thing that I was thinking for this outfit was these black leather like boot heel things. Let's put them on and just like see. This is the fit. I think it's really cute. A little bit of earrings. I know the Taylor Swift Eras Tour did this, 
but I do have a couple bracelets. This one says Plane to Paris. This one says uh, Heartbreak in the Hamptons. And then this one is Hell is a Teenage Girl. I don't know if anyone's gonna be doing this, but I have some in case. Now it's time to pack my bag. It says no backpacks. There's nothing about clear bags, so hopefully that this is okay. I think I've decided to bring this purse because I think it's gonna fit everything in it. I have two battery packs, one for my camera, one for my phone. Clearly, I need both my phone cord and my camera cord. It's sunny outside, but it's like 50 degrees, so I have heaties. And then, you know, the essentials, lip liner, lip gloss, and a little bit of mascara. Of course, I need to also bring my ID and my card. Time check, it's 11.55, so I have 50 minutes, and then the car will be here. Hello. literally already a line i am 22 this is maddie and mo i have now made new friends in the line so it is currently 1 30 we have another two hours so we just got the email um uh, sound check is now canceled like, what if it gets canceled i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that i literally jinxed that this morning you guys heard me say that um so yeah i mean it's kind of a bummer because it's literally the last tour stop but Okay, so we just got food. Um, a tour manager came out. He said there's not going to be five. Now we're going to be living at six. So we have another two hours to go. It is now 5.56. It's supposed to say told us five more minutes. But we don't really know. It could be 10 minutes later. 30 minutes later. church club for the lonely tour and this is what happened i don't know if you can tell but i have no voice today i literally feel like i i partied at like a club last night and like i'm extremely hungover that was crazy overall i think nessa did amazing i think that was one of the best concerts that i've been to but i will say first things first pits they gotta go because that is not the vibe i was in vip and even though vip was canceled they still allowed us early entry but even with early entry you still have like all of the other like ga and non-vip people and they all just push and i had the worst stomach ache from staying out there in the cold and shaking for like six seven hours that by the time we even got in there and started lining up in the venue i did not feel good at all but I didn't know until I was on the ground not feeling good that right in front of me was the little step and because of TikTok and what I've been seeing on there I know she comes like into the audience and I realized right then and there I'm gonna get squished and that is exactly what happened as soon as she came up on those stairs I was literally my shoulders went back and I was grabbing the people in front of me and I was just like Oh my god, that's just not, that's just not the vibe. We definitely need to figure out a way to not have pits anymore Maybe if we all have like a seat and it was grab hold and try not to go down because vip was canceled we still got our stuff which is really cute actually we got a vip church club for the lonely tour um pass what are these called really cute i was actually wearing this throughout the show and then we also got these tote bags which i think are really cute too we also got a signed poster i think i would have changed about this is maybe having like a rubber band or something because it was really hard to carry this all night inside of a bag it's just really hard not to like bend things especially when you're being trampled this girl she knew what she was doing because i think that there was 
three people that passed out in the pit and every single time she stopped she made sure that they had water the second or third person that passed out was like way far in the back and i didn't even hear anything all of a sudden the music just stopped and she knew what she was doing she pointed them out and she like immediately I don't know it was just very cool to see that you see in the media nowadays that a lot of artists don't see that happening and can't put a stop to it because they don't see it so i think that was really cool she saw something all the way in the back all the people were okay i i literally did not see any people with bracelets until like the very end so i did end up getting like one cute little bracelet but i still have one of my <laughs> Um, this was really cute too. One of the fans actually passed out a plane to Paris little thing. You'd put it over your flashlight. So like the whole crowd had like pink flashlights. That was really cute. I love that. The opener, her name was Maya. I think she was sick. Okay, she was really, really freaking good. She kind of reminded me like a Maggie Lindemann. Her guitarist and her drummer were both girls. So I thought that was really cool. It was literally an all-girl band. I'm so out of it today. I literally feel like sick. My favorite song that she performed was probably, oh, what did she? It was Gaslight. She, if you guys know Anissa Barrett, one of her songs is called Gaslight. She did amazing with that song. I don't know what she did with it. She like added new effects and lighting. Everything looked really good and like magical. It was, it was really cool to experience. Oh, and you know, repping, repping the merch today. This is her last album. As an artist myself, it's really cool for me to like go and experience the stuff in person because I, I used to sing all the time, like on stage and concerts, everything. I used to literally be such a performer. And now that I'm doing my music again, I want to be able to like see it and be like that's you know that's something i want to do and all i could think last night after seeing like maya and nessa i was like oh, i want to go up there i want to sing my songs i'm going on a roll right now like i just want to get in the studio and record more songs and just perform like that is all i want to do now but yeah definitely i think i give it an 8 out of 10 i just hated the pushing <laughs> and i hated saying i'm that cold but other than that she did a great performance i'm so glad i was able to document this for you guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys soon Love you.